What's up everyone, it's your boy Big Banks. We're back again for another video. And today we are exploring an abandoned mansion here in France in the middle of nowhere. We are literally surrounded by woods. Some people even call this a chateau, um, but it's not quite that big, but it is big enough to be a mansion. It is huge, but we are gonna go in today. This place was abandoned around 2014. Um, there's a lot of stuff left behind, pretty much everything. This guy really enjoyed stuff from Africa. We even think that he was from Africa. We don't know really what country yet. We're gonna go through this place and I hope you guys enjoy. And I'm excited to show you guys. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna pit my camel and my wife. My wife is at the car. We're gonna go inside and let's see what's left. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. In the middle of a huge field surrounded by woods sits an abandoned chateau left behind in 2014. From what we could find in the home tells us that the man that once lived here was a very successful businessman from Africa and his family. It also looks as if one point in time a couple of other families may have lived in the upper floors. But the one thing we were told about this place is that there's a rumor that the man that once lived here was murdered in the basement. We couldn't find out how true that rumor may be, but nonetheless, there is a real mystery why everything they owned was left forgotten inside. So join me today and let's see what's inside this abandoned chateau. So guys, look at this house, freaking gorgeous. It's beautiful, three stories, just amazing. Out in the middle of nowhere, just sits this house. You can definitely tell he was an older guy or something like that. But this house is just amazing. I love mansions like this. Let's go inside and let's see what's left. All right guys, so I'm starting you off upstairs. We're on the third floor. I think there's one other floor above us, but I think that just goes to the attic. But we are in this mansion. Kind of did a little bit of a walk around just to be sure everything was okay. And this place is very, very nice. This is the last video of the France series. It's gonna be a sweet ending. Today we explored a huge castle in the morning, and now we're here at this little bit of a smaller castle. So we're just at this mansion, um, but it is beautiful and we're inside. So I'm going to start you guys off up here in these bedrooms and then we're going to work our way downstairs and everything like that. So this bedroom is one that's upstairs, complete time capsule as you can see, bed is still made. There's this old wheelchair here, which is not one like I've seen before, it's got like little wheels on it. It looks like you can maybe adjust it to lay it down. You have this for maybe whenever he has to use the bathroom or something. But what we're thinking is this guy was a collector of some sort, collected like shells and things like that. Safe to say this place is pretty beautiful and it's in the middle of nowhere out here. <laughs> like it's in the middle of nowhere. Check out this stuff. This looks like medical equipment of some sort. These tubes, I wonder what they're for. But there is nice furniture all throughout this place. Did collect mag or uh, he collected newspapers as well. We've seen a lot of like rich people collect newspapers. It's very strange. Maybe it's just to keep up with old news. I don't know. This room has some nice wallpaper peeled off at one point, obviously. But this is a pretty nice bedroom. Not too bad. So we come out of this bedroom, and the ceiling is very short. We have a door right here. There's more newspapers just kind of stacked all up in there. And another staircase. Yeah, that's the staircase that goes up to the attic. But we walk through here. And we have this big opening, which is the staircase. It goes down. Like I said, we're on the third story. And that goes up to the attic. Right there. This house definitely has a, an acquired taste to it. It's still nice though, for the right person. Here's the bedroom, but it's empty. But don't worry, as we go down, a lot more like uh, stuff is left behind. This room is empty, there's an umbrella just open over there, and it echoes so much in this room. That's crazy. Wait. Is this like some sort of secret door?
Yo, this is some sort of like secret door. I think. Maybe? I don't know. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, that's a hidden door. So maybe he put stuff back in there to hide stuff. That's crazy. Have a big chest here. Some clothes, stuff like that in there. Which room is this? This is just, looks like they just threw a bunch of- 1938, bro. That picture is? Yeah, look. Oh wow. 1938. <laughs> That's crazy. Probably all these are. Yeah, all of them. There's even some that are older, like a year older. It's 1916. Oh my god. 1916. Like, I don't want to be ignorant. I didn't even know they had cameras in that 1915. time. 1915. That's crazy. 1908. Oh, that's the oldest one. That's Let the see. oldest one. Oh, that's why you can barely even see it. It's so faded. <laughs> it's just so old. Wow. There's probably, there's probably even older in here. Yeah, absolutely. Like, all the furniture we've seen in France is all, like, beautiful. All hand-carved. Looks like they just stored a bunch of crap in here. Could have been a nice bedroom. Got another bedroom up here. See, what I'm thinking is this third story was mostly just for storage and things like that. Like, maybe the third story and the attic. They just kind of threw stuff up here to store away. And it's all been just left. The floor is creaking. Every time I take a step, we got some sewing stuff. Yo, look at this. This is the house. It looks abandoned there too. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> so back this way, there's a bathroom. Kind of been stripped, it looks like, for the most part. But we're about to start getting the good stuff and going downstairs. Another bathroom right here. But yeah, that's this part of the upstairs. Let's go downstairs now and let's check it out. There's gonna be a lot more stuff down there. It's a time capsule, all stuck in time. And the craziest thing you're gonna see is when we see the front foyer. It is quite bizarre, I've never seen anything like it. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end. All right, we made it to the second floor now, working our way down. So I'm gonna show you the second floor. And this up here is a complete time capsule. Everything is like stuck, frozen in time. So many magazines, so many, so much furniture, beds are made, you know, everything is still here. And that's one thing so much crazier about like Europe than America, which we do find time capsules in America, but you're more likely to find them here. Even the famous houses here are like still time capsules, but a famous house in America will get trashed in like a week, literally. That's why we don't say where places are. Start off with just this. Shelves of magazines and shelves of newspapers, books. But then we have this little area right here. Probably where you would just sit and read. This is where he read all of his newspapers, right here. All 50,000 of them are in here. <laughs> all 50,000. <000. laughs> oh, here's a calendar. Let's see what year it's from. 2008. Could be the last time they were here. September 2008. There's very cool stuff in this place. These chairs are nice too. This looks like it would have been comfy. Not anymore, obviously. It's abandoned now. Right next to it, we have a bathroom. Bathrooms are always like cluttered in these houses. It's weird. We'll go straight into this room through these French doors. And we'll see this bed. Still made. Obviously decaying away ceiling. Paint has peeled and just fallen on top of this thing. And all over the floor. I'm assuming this is probably the master bedroom, I think. It's even a nice old TV here. Look at that. The TV also has a little model ship on top. So much stuff left behind and it is decaying really nicely. But obviously you wish places like this would just get saved. Guys, look at right here. There's even a crab. This is the shell. But yeah, oh, Mr. Krabs, I guarantee you there's probably some sort of clothes left behind. And what I love about you is they use, they use skeleton keys for all their furniture. It's quite amazing. Oh, there's not even clothes right here. 
This is like files. Oh, okay. So no clothes, but files in the cabinet. Maybe on this side. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Linens. Things of that sort. So there is still some clothing right there. But you also have a little seating area. Maybe to eat breakfast or just read a book or whatever. Pretty nice stuff in here. Ah, this is a singer. So this is actually a sewing machine. I wonder if this is like... Huh. I don't see where the sewing machine is. Actually, I know what this does. I think this flips. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this flips this way and the Singer sewing machine will flip up. But I don't want to move anything because when you come through this door and it's a uh, storage in here. More storage. Kind of just stuff thrown about. Yo. These are old uh, pictures, like Polaroids. Which is right here, every room kind of runs into each other. We got two beds in here, maybe for siblings or something. Maybe a guest room, but the wallpaper in here is funky. Very funky wallpaper. Uh, look at here. European chargers. And then the next room that we run into is a kitchen. So there's another kitchen here. Maybe it's like apartment type stuff. I'm not sure. But we have the table in here. It's probably like a pantry or something. Yeah, a little bit of a pantry. Some stuff left behind. And then we got another bathroom here. And see, this is what I mean by the bathrooms. They kind of just throw things about in them whenever they leave. But what's also weird is the pantry with like the soups and snacks and stuff is in the bathroom. I don't know, but I, I, I don't think you should eat where you poo. You know what I mean? So why put your food in here? Back in the main hall here. Now we got to go to this room. Yeah, be checking out the basement. So this is a much bigger bedroom. I love the TV, man. I don't know why. Yeah, the TVs are like super vintage. I love that. But this room is like much bigger, but like yeah. there's not like a huge bed in here like the other room. I wonder why, like, yeah, right? It's like bugged out a little bit. Like. It's like a very small bed. Is this them? France is beautiful. You know, I've seen a couple of these in this house. Just keep suits. But this room is large. I really like this room. But yeah, this TV over here. Super vintage. I love this. What do you think this liquid is? Yo, look at this though. All these shells. There's even a shell necklace. And this is like a petrified... Well, I thought it was a crab, but it's actually... Oyster. Never seen one like that. Some of this stuff is really cool. Some old rocks. It's just a lot of random stuff. It's just a lot of just random things. Like, why, you know? But here we have a, another kitchen. What the heck? No, it's a kitchen in a bathroom. Why is there a kitchen in the bathroom? Strange. All right, so we just explored this second floor. Now we're gonna go down to the first floor. Check that out, see what else we can find. I kind of already know, but you guys don't. So I'm just gonna let it be a surprise. So let's go down there and let's check it out. You guys are gonna love this. All right, so I'm gonna start you guys right here. When you first walk in, obviously, as you got older through time, he could not, very, he could not get around very well. So uh, he had this set up outside which is crazy, that has to be like rainproof or something because literally this whole trip it's been raining but you walk in through these double doors big double doors, beautiful and this is what you get right here walk right in this dude definitely, like I said, could not get around 
So he has one right here, and he actually has one up there too. Yeah, there's one up there. Yeah, so he couldn't get it around very well. He must have been like really, really old. Battery had some type of issues with his leg or walking, whatever. But right here in this main entryway, you have this piece of art, which looks kind of like Japanese or maybe even something from like, I don't know. Well, wait, time out. That's a camel. That's a camel? Yeah, look. My oh, I see it, camel. I see it. So maybe, maybe they are from Africa. Yeah, it's like African, like a lot of things here are African inspired. You could eat like, it has like a rustic feel like, like Yeah, yeah. Like brown and like. Yeah, but then the craziest thing is right above us. <laughs> it's a hawk. <laughs> or a falcon or something. And it's taxidermied and there's light bulbs coming out of its feet. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. That's crazy. I mean, I don't know what country he would have came from, but definitely somewhere from Africa because there's yeah. a lot of African things in here. Finding out a lot of stuff as we go along. That's one thing I love about exploring if you don't know about a place. And for us, it's kind of hard to figure out places yeah. in Europe. It like, is because we don't really speak the language. Yeah. 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 And you can't, it's hard to just like search up an address and like find yeah. the owner and stuff like that. Like America, you can do that really easily. But this, this is so cool. I love this. One thing about France too is we've been running into a lot of bees. Yeah. They everywhere. chase us too. Literally, they tried to get in the car, like everything. Yeah, that's the main foyer. We've got a beautiful floor in here, nice furniture, you know, everything cool like that. But just straight ahead through these French doors is a massive room. It really gives office vibes. Like there's a desk here, the glasses, typewriter. I mean, shelves with magazines. This just feels like an office down here. It's beautiful though. There would have been a chandelier right there. And, but look at this. This animal skin rug. This is a, this looks like a raccoon, I think. It might be a badger. I have no idea. Do these things get like stiff? Oh, that's crazy. That's like literally real. And here we have a javelin. Look at this. This is literally a spear. Like, this is a javelin. Look at this. That's crazy. Got some lawn chairs, big cabinets, full of stuff. Granted, it is like miscellaneous type stuff, but isn't this crazy? Files. So this definitely was like more of an office down here than anything, but it feels like it should be the living room. But I think living room is going to be right there. That's what it looks like at least. It's like a fish. <laughs> what the heck? Sorry guys, I have to point out every time there's a fake plant or else I'm going to have a hundred comments that say, who's watering the plant? But yeah. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, 9.5 times out of 10, they're fake plants all the time. You know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind for the future. Now we enter into what would be the main living room of the house. And we have a table right here. Ooh. Oh, nasty. I think that's piss in there. All right, so now we have this living room here. We got the couch. Looks like they like to drink a lot too. A lot of alcohol. Got the TV. Used to be paintings up here, you can tell. But the details in the ceiling, I mean, are so nice. Glass case. Maybe had guns here. But check this stuff out. What even is this? I have no idea what even this is. Guys, look at this. It's an eel. Oh my god, what the f is that? 
Yo, yo, that's real, dog. It's, it's an eel. It's real. It's like dried out. Yeah, it's taxidermied. <sighs> what? <laughs> yeah, a lot of cool stuff in here. Glasses are all still here. Here's like a cabinet full of stuff. And then we come into the main kitchen. Which is kind of small. There's also another table back here. It almost feels like a desk almost, but it's a table. And then you got the calendar. That says 2013 and 2014. But this, this feels like it's been abandoned for much longer. Wow. Of course, all this stuff is left in here. Champagne bottles. Oh, we got a basement. Before we go down in the basement, we're gonna go check out this other side of the house real quick. But then we'll go down in the basement and we'll check it out. Let's see this other side of the house. We got like a tricycle right here. We got a shelf full of books. Yo. Guarantee you there's probably not a gun in here. Nope. Case for a gun though. Here's a bathroom. This place feels like it's been abandoned for so much longer. But like I said, everything's kind of open and just left to the elements. There's a big chest here. I hate when you have to just step on everything. Full of magazines, full of newspapers. Another desk. stuff that's left places. What is this? That is funky looking. <laughs> nice fireplace, marble. Here's more seashells. So this is one room on this side. Looks like we have another room over here to our right. Nah, this was a master bedroom right here. This was it. You got the big bed. You got closets everywhere. Here's uh, some perfume, like look at this. And this is like a closet area that goes behind. So let's take a look. Yo. Here's x-rays. It almost looks like something is in the lungs. I can't tell, but it looks like something's in the lungs. And then you kind of maneuver your way through all this stuff. Get back here. And it's just piled up. Everything. All right, it's time to go down to the basement. So let's see what that looks like. Ah, oh, I hate going to basements. Holy crap, dude. Yo, this is freaky. What's down in the basement? This is freaky down here, yo. Whoa. What did he used to do down here? Dude, it smells like fresh bleach. Oh, damn. This was his torture chamber. It literally smells like fresh bleach down here. No, it smells like it's cleaned up blood. Does it not smell like fresh bleach down here? Yeah, it smells like bleach. Like someone just bleached something. That's a bit scary. Yeah. Whoa, this is scary, y'all. Look at all the clothes. You were right. It literally smells like fresh bleach. What the heck? So the smell of fresh bleach is really unsettling in a place like this. Why does this chair almost like someone like got 
shot in the head right here. Does it? That's a blood stain. Well, I don't know if it is, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not, but like... They could have died right there and their head like decomposed or something. So weird, dude. It's like a morgue table in there. But it's not. That is weird, bro. <laughs> this place... Okay, down here is really unsettling. Yeah. Alright, well... Guys, that's the house. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna get out of here, and that's gonna be a wrap for today, and the wrap on the France series. So, it was a great one, had a great time. Uh, the rest of the trip, me and my wife are just gonna kinda chill and hang out and uh, do some tourist things. So I might do a couple vlogs. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see vlogs in the future when I travel, like it doesn't have to all be abandoned. But if you want it to be, it can be. But we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff. But guys, that's the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Check out Pimp My Camel. Check out my wife. She's kind of been our getaway driver on places. Uh, you guys know if you've been watching for a while that she hurt herself um, back in February of 2021. Uh, she broke her leg in a couple spots and it's kind of hindered her to be able to do some things. But she's getting better. She explored the best place with us and I'm so excited for her to be in the videos. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna get out of here, and until next time, Big Banks out.